and this system is so different the way the walleye behave and do everything male 14 8 that it's there's nothing like textbook about about the way the, the whole system with the walleye them spawning in these marshes on grass that's just completely yeah it's it's not what you learn in the schools and because walleye haven't read the textbook they do things a bit differently on the Winnebago system. DNR works with landowners and fishing clubs on the Winnebago system to make sure that the habitat walleye need to spawn is protected and restored. And with the walleye program, one of the real keystone efforts that we have is uh, working with landowners that own spawning marshes like this, that sign them up into a uh, what we call a marsh agreement, and that allows us to go on private property and spend state dollars to improve that property for walleye spawning habitat. But it also allows us to set up no entry zones on those marshes so that in the spring of the year when the fish are in here spawning, they're very susceptible to poaching or illegal activity. A person could come in and literally dip net the fish right out of the marsh. And we can post those then as no entry zones and keep the people out. Combined efforts to protect and restore habitat have paid off. Walleye are thriving in the Winnebago system, and anglers enjoy one of the state's premier fisheries for this frying pan favorite. That popularity pumps $234 million in new money into the five surrounding counties every year and supports 4,300 jobs. And so there is a, a very economic component to having a healthy fishery um, when you consider the amount of money that's brought in the jobs that are generated from that fishery. And the beauty of a fishery or a natural resource is that all you have to do is keep that environment healthy and you will keep that economic engine generating dollars.